What's up, DFS Army? Geek here, and today I am going over how to use our new best in the business NBA projections spreadsheet um, that we've been put together. Just want to go over this a little bit with you guys. Um, so basically get an understand of how an understanding of how I use it, how you should be using this, because quite honestly, we've been getting the question before. So first things first, when you want to go see the spreadsheet. This is um, updated every single day. Click on NBA, NBA VIP projection spreadsheet. You're gonna click here and that will bring up the sheet. Now, the first thing I like to do is click on this link for mobile so I can have the power to manipulate the sheet. In a second, I'm just gonna go over what exactly we're doing here because um, quite honestly, our sheet is different from other sites and other places. Rather than your straight projection sheet where we basically take a multiple of expected minutes points per minute um, and make an adjustment for vegas line totals and dvp and things like that which we do but rather what we do here is we do that style of sheet and then we run a simulation using various uh, mathematical formulas so that we in essence, get a range of outcomes for each player. This is the ultimate in how to project because obviously you never know. So we use standard deviations uh, against minutes, projections, and points per minute and everything to come up with this amazing piece of information. Big props to Taco for coming up with this. I am super, super excited about it because it's been crushing. No one does this. No wonder what we're doing is state of the art. It is next level stuff. All right, so the question has come up. Hey, I, yeah, it looks like a lot of numbers. How do I use this thing? I'm gonna go over a few of these numbers and then I'm gonna get real basic with this and how I use it. So obviously the basic salary, position, team, et cetera, et cetera. Adjusted DVP is our proprietary formula that rather than using the standard DVP that everybody else uses, which is the entire season, our formula weights recent performance much more than earlier in the season. So we have a rolling weighting of adjusted DVP. Um, when you see a greener number, that means that team is not good against that position. So like Kevin Durant is playing um, Oak City and they are pretty good against small forwards. So the DVP against the position is 0.88, meaning um, players are, are scoring um, 88% uh, of what they usually score against this team. So they're, um, when you play this team, you, you would be expected to score 12% less than your norm. Moving on, projection. This is just your basic projection. Value, very important number. Maybe one of the most important numbers, but I use a little different. Minutes projections, of course. Now, all of this is just, um, uh, you know, uh, specific numbers that we come up with as we run the simulations. Here's a cool thing, measures, median, min, and max. You'll notice the median is the projection that we come up with. That's the average score that that player came up with as we ran our thousands of simulations. The minimum was the minimum score that player put up and the max was the max score. So what we're doing here is we're projecting a floor and a ceiling as well as what we, as, a, as an expectation for the player. All right, here you see fantasy points total, how many they actually scored. And this is, I think, pretty self-explanatory. 58% of the time, um, Harden scored 60 points or more. Here's where it gets exciting. Here's where it gets interesting. Here's my favorite part, the value. All right, so when I'm, looking, when I'm looking at these sheets, the main thing I'm looking for is not to figure out if Russell Westbrook is going to have a good day. Russell Westbrook's the man. He's going to have a good day, All right? I, I can pick out studs pretty easy. I don't need anybody's help for that. What I'm looking for is value. How do I find value? I, the first thing I do is I come in and I sort the sheet. I personally like six times. So what does this mean? That this player, look at some of these numbers. Looking at the mass number of simulations that we ran, how many times did he, did this player score three times value, four times value, five times, six times, seven times, right? So in this particular slate, Alex Len. And I'm assuming it's because he's got some sort of a massive minutes bump or something. Let's see what his minutes look like. Okay, 27 minutes for a $3,000 player. You can expect 
that he's going to crush value. This is what we're trying to identify with these sheets. Okay, so the first thing I do is I look at this and I go, oh my gosh, Alex Len, 73% of the time hits seven times value. This guy's going to crush it. Let's look at his minimum max scores. Wow, his top score, 43 points. Are you kidding me? All right, minimum 7.9. Even so, so I get an idea of this $3,000 player, what his range of outcomes is, right? This is how I use the sheet. Brandon Knight, here we go. So I'm looking for guys that can score six, that have a high likelihood of six or seven times value, especially on the punt side. It's especially awesome when you could find a guy who has a reasonably high chance of 6x, who is also a stud. So here we have Isaiah Thomas. Too. Let's see why. Um, DVP, all right, so he's scoring a little above average. He's got a high minutes projection today. And this is what our simulations brought up. So um, I think this is pretty simple. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. What we're looking for is value in DFS all the time. We could pick studs. It's easy. So we're looking for these value plays. I like to look for guys who have a reasonably, reasonably high chance of scoring 6x. And listen, if I could find a 7x at 73% or 63%, all in. That's how I play this. That's how you should play this. Um, obviously, the caveat is we do a lot of other stuff in the DFS Army to give you help. You have your Boomer's Bowler sheets where Keith's going to call out some of his favorite plays of the day. Lots of studs included there. David Alvarez has his um, uh, free square of the day. Check that every day. That's an awesome article to read. Check into our Slack channels where you're going to get the last, last minute pivots. One thing about this type of a sheet, because it does take some time to run, this is not updating every second. So half an hour before lock, this thing isn't going to be updated. We're just not able to run it at that, at that speed. Usually about an hour to an hour and a half before lock generally about let's call it about an hour before lock is the last run where we update the minutes projections and let it go to town so that is your basic how to use our nba cheat sheet video um hit me up in slack with any questions hit up taco hit up keith we're here to help thanks guys